to Fashion Junkie here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on these babies right here. These are the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. The whole beauty community was raving when ColourPop first hinted at doing concealers and then when they released them, honey, everybody was on that site trying to get some. Me included that I end up getting one of the wrong shades. But anywho. <laughs> Um, so today I'm going to be reviewing these babies, testing them out, seeing how they hold up. So yeah, if you want to see my thoughts on these concealers right here, then please keep watching. So everybody has been raving about these ColourPop concealers, um, well before they came out because, well, when ColourPop comes out with new stuff, it's like, okay, we have to try it. I mean, they... Killed it with the lip stuff, they killed it with the eyeshadows, they killed it with the highlighters, the bronzers. So now it's time for face stuff, okay? I still have not tried the brushes, I probably will later on. But I got two concealers, one in Deep Tan 55 and the other in Deep 70. I don't know what the hell I was doing, I thought I was getting the 75 one, but I ended up getting 70. I don't freaking know. I was trying to get a shade to contour with. So I know the shade that I got, I won't be able to contour with. But, um, so I took them out the box. And this is what the container looks like. So this one is Deep Tan 55, and this is Deep 70. Clearly, I won't be able to contour with this one. I did use the Deep 70 to clean up under my brows today. Oh, and by the way, this eye look is recorded. Um, I'm actually in the process of recording two videos at the same time. So yes, we're going to try out Deep Tan 55. I'm going to go ahead and try to highlight. So this is what the applicator looks like. A flat doe foot applicator. I don't know if I went too light with the... Mm, no, nah, I don't know. I can tell I went too light with this one. So I could probably use the Deep uh, 70 to kind of cool this down. Because, uh, yeah, it might be, but I'm highlighting a, a lot and have yet to dip back inside the tube. So that's a good thing. That means I can use a way less product. So I'm, I'm placing Deep 70 right on top just to kind of cool this down because it is a little bit too bright. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with my Beauty Blender. It's blending out really good. I can say though, like, I know they're gonna need more shade range, but I'm pretty sure ColourPop will get right on that, you know. Okay, so tone all this down because I'm looking crazy. I'm gonna take the bottom of my beauty blender, what I use for foundation, and go around these edges. Just so everything can blend together and not seem so freaking harsh. I don't know if you can definitely tell the difference from this side to this side. I'm going to go ahead and continue the rest of my face, then I'm going to come back and give you my thoughts on the concealers. So let's talk about the specs of this concealer. Um, really everybody just wants to know how it works. No one really wants to know what the price is and all that because you can go on ColourPop and see for yourself. Um, first off, I want to say I really, really like how they blend it out. Um, it was very creamy. I thought it was gonna dry down, but it didn't. It blended out so freaking smoothly. They do need to work on the shade range, but I feel like ColourPop will get it together. No doubt about that. A lot of people were comparing this uh, concealer to Tarte's 
shape tape i have never used the shape tape so i really can't compare it but i will say i do like the applicator it's really really nice especially i did use it uh like i said up under my brows so especially under the brows and all that it's a really darn good concealer i don't want i think i want to go back and get the 75 just to see if it's deep enough so i can contour with because if it is honey I'm gonna be stocking up, okay. After using the two, I will say this one is too light. Um, so I probably could just conceal with Deep 70 on its own and then contour with the 75, but I have to purchase it to see. Overall, I really freaking like these concealers. I think that it's Ooh, excuse me I think that it's a great purchase and they're only six dollars so I feel like you can't beat that ColourPop is winning they know what the hell they're doing and they need to keep it up honey okay thank you guys for watching this video if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button to be a part of the family and the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.